Well, hi everyone, Sean Effries here. Welcome to All Things Retirement. Well, in this video, I'm going to continue with my discussion on the various lessons that were in the book written by Dr. Riley Moynes titled The Ten Lessons, How You Can Squeeze All the Juice Out of Retirement. So this lesson is Getting Old is Better Than You Might Expect. So I think you'll enjoy the musings taken from this great book that Dr. Moynes had put together. Now, if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss future content. We're posting content all the time on various aspects of retirement planning and overall wealth planning. As well, if you go to the notes for this video, you'll find complimentary free resources that you can tap into to educate yourself on various aspects of retirement income planning. Okay, let's take a look at this lesson. So I got a kick out of how Dr. Moynes started this chapter. Again, getting old is better than you might expect. Um, he shared an experience I think all of us have as we get older, and that experience is sort of this in internal disconnect between how old we feel we are and how old we actually are. Um, and the other thing is surprise often, how did I get to age 50 or 60 or 65? I don't feel that old. But of course, when we look in the mirror, or sometimes our friends make comments, um, or we look at pictures from five years, even 10 years ago, and we see, yeah, things have changed a little bit. Um, but in saying that, the retirees that are successfully navigating the retirement planning journey uh, and retirement experience um, do have a, an overall sense uh, that is different from what they were kind of expecting their uh, aging experience would be. And what they tell us is not to waste our time worrying about getting older. For the most part, they found it to be very different from what they expected. And the experience was just better. So what they said was they know that later life provided them with a greater sense of calm, clarity, contentment, and opportunity in daily life than they expected. Now, it's really important to look at those comments in the overall big picture context. So if you take a look at the various lessons in this book and from other videos we talked about, the experience of retirement and aging is not good in a vacuum. It happens because we've worked on relationships, we've worked on our health, we've worked on our financial plan or our roadmap financially. And it's all those pieces that are put together that helps to improve the probability that our experience of retirement and aging would be a good experience. And so those other things have to be attended to. I've talked in previous videos about one striking or often shocking bit of research. It was a book that dealt with the what the author and researcher thought was sort of structural or systemic um, ageism within our culture, which I believe is there for sure. So in North America, as people get older, people tend to dismiss them. They look past them. Um, they almost become invisible in the culture somehow. Now, that's not the case for all cultures. And so if you look at Japan, as an example, they esteem their older um, you know, members of their families and older folks out there in their culture. So in Japan, um, older men are esteemed. And in fact, in the book, they talked about research where they looked at hormonal levels, testosterone levels of older males in North America, in the U.S., older males in Japan, and the older males had higher testosterone level, hormonal levels. And what they thought was leading to that was the fact that those males had more esteem. They were taking more seriously. Their guidance and wisdom was shared by them and taken by younger folks in the culture in a serious fashion. The other thing that happens though, and this is the shocking part of that research, is that we internalize in North America the negative beliefs about aging. So we have to capture those negative beliefs, fight against them, because they can actually hurt our health and sense of well-being as we get older. And so I sense when I looked at Dr. Moyne's book and the various lessons, that these retirees that were navigating the retirement journey successfully had either consciously or subconsciously fought against ageism, uh, ageist beliefs that were negative, and they embraced beliefs and lessons that um, allowed them to really thrive in their older age so that they could say, getting old is better than you might expect. But again, that happened because they were attending to the other areas that I mentioned before. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed a few musings on this topic. And if you want to get complimentary resources on retirement income planning, go to the show notes. There's links there. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content. And I'm wishing you all the best in your retirement income planning and wealth planning journey. You take care. Bye-bye.